You look at other guys on that team, though. Yeah, Jason Tatum just lost his rhythm completely after that first play. No question about it. And the Celtics team sort of – obviously, they follow his lead. But I felt like that was an opportunity for someone else to step up, right? Someone like Jalen Brown. And Jalen had a tough night. I mean, what a what a worse way to go out, especially on that stage, Game 7, a chance to go to the NBA Finals. And uh, let's face it, he just wasn't ready for that moment. Is it that easy? Like, how do you how do you say it? Like, obviously, it's a bad time to have the worst game of, of your career, essentially, especially in the postseason. But in a Game 7 like that, eight turnovers, couldn't find your offensive rhythm. I mean, what what happens there with Jalen Brown, in your opinion? What, what do you think happened? I think exactly what you're saying. I mean, sometimes everybody's going to have a bad night. And that just happened to be a bad night topped off with Jason Tatum, you know, being hurt essentially from the beginning of the game. Uh, you know, no rhythm, no shots. Uh, Malcolm Brogdon, who has been arguably one of the best six men that's been long, been around in a long time for the Celtics, uh, you know, the the uh, forearm injury wouldn't allow him to shoot the basketball. I mean, it was just yeah, the, 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 injury, the, injury, the injury bug and the timing bug in him. And, man, you looked over there and how good would it have been to have uh, Gallinari uh, to come in and play part of that role. And he's starting to right now get back healthy. I don't think it would have been fair to throw him out there. Uh, but they've been talking about him practicing and what he can do next year. So, you know, it was just, it, it was, it was bad timing for the Celtics. CLNS Media Celtics coverage is brought to you by FanDuel. New customers get a no sweat first bet up to one thousand dollars. That's bonus bets back if your first bet doesn't win. Uh, you know, you you look at it. Game six was a miracle. Well, they should have won Game six. It shouldn't have got there. Then they get a miracle, and then you know he gets snatched back from them when Tatum twists his ankle. Essentially, the first play of the game. And um, Joe Mazzulla was dealing with the, uh, his, his deck was, uh, it was stacked against him uh, from then on in. And then you have Robert Williams, you know, we, we find out after the fact that he was sick, he was throwing up and had a stomach bug. And, and that was a big part of the reason why he couldn't find his rhythm either. So yeah, it's, it's bad timing for stuff like that, obviously. I mean, at the end of the day, but I mean, Max, you expected a little more from this team, right? A little more fight, like you said. Uh, what would have been a, a historic moment in Boston sports well, they, history? They, they, that that Derek White boy, not Boston sports history, in the history of the NBA. The history of the NBA. Okay, yeah, my fault. Right, one hundred and fifty teams had been down 3-0, and not one of them had won. And the Celtics, it was teed up for them perfectly to win the sixth game by a miracle. To and the three teams that had got it to the seventh game, all those games that were playing the seventh game was on the road. Celtics had the advantage of being home, the crowd, everything. The first couple of minutes of the game couldn't have gone. First couple of minutes, you get a couple of baskets, and then Tatum goes down. And from then on, it just seemed like it was it was it was downhill fast. But that's part of the game uh, that you're going to have injuries and and things are going to happen like that to you in these situations. So what happens next, in your opinion? What, what do you? What would you like to see happen? Do, would you like to see drastic changes? Do, do you think that this team needs to, you know, break up its core? I figured you would say that. <laughs> Why? Well, I, mean, I don't either. But I what's just. The, I, what's the core? What's the core reason for you to change? I mean, this team was a basket, a game away from winning, from getting to the finals. Uh, people talked about Joe Mazzulla and said what he did or what he didn't do. I thought Joe Mazzulla had a very good year. He, he was solid. Man. Did he make mistakes? Yes. Any coach is going to make mistakes. But I thought he he had the ear of his team. You could see the way he was talking to him, especially to get him to seven games. I mean, I it was yeah. it, it. I know I know sports media, sports radio, sports talk, all of them want to just go after Joe Mazzulla or go after Jalen Brown. Because you had a good year. Even people parking back now saying, well, if Eme was there, that wouldn't have happened. Well, Eme got you to, you know, the finals. Joe Mazzula was one game away from the finals. So, I, you know, until, and I've always said this, with, with these guys, until they win it, that's the thing about being with the Boston Celtics. You can play well. Other teams would celebrate what just happened. But for the Celtics, their goal is to get another banner. Banner 18. And until they get that, 
it's going to be an underachievement with the kind of players right now you have. I think you're, you have a stacked team, team of some really, really high quality players. And what do you do in free agency? Who do you bring in? Uh, I, I, I don't know, but I, you know, I like what you have with this team. The thing that they have to learn to do is close games and not to be inconsistent. And sometimes that grow, you get that by growing in time, uh, you know, Tatum and Brown together, just find a way to close games because, you know, let's be very frank. You should, you, you essentially coughed that one up in Miami and then had a miracle play to win the game. And uh, it was just crazy to see it happen like that and then see the wheels fall off the bus immediately once you lose your best player. CLNS Media Celtics coverage is brought to you by FanDuel. New customers get a no-sweat first bet up to $1,000. That's bonus bets back if your first bet doesn't win. 